All right, good morning, everyone. We wanna thank our follower for this wonderful tip request question asking, how do I write the, do I want to be considered as a disadvantaged applicant essay? It's a great question and it can be difficult for many applicants to decide if they fit into this bucket or not. This video is gonna talk you through how to objectively identify if you would be able to qualify in this sense, okay? Now, and if you would be able to qualify, there's a reason why it's left to your interpretation to claim if you're a disadvantaged applicant or not, okay? If you are not, and you go through this process and you're like, no, I can't honestly say yes to any of these questions, then you probably aren't. But if you can go through and look at these questions and look at your own situation objectively and determine that there were some things that did put you at a disadvantage, please go ahead and click yes, okay? So personal information, this is where this is located. You're gonna go under economic, educational, and environmental factors. And then you have all of these different questions. I'm not gonna go through and read each and every single one of them, but as you can see here, Member of your immediate family ever had federal or state assistance? Um, did you have paid employment prior to age 18? I think that's kind of a funny question because there's a lot of people who have high school jobs. So I don't, I don't necessarily look at that as a disadvantage, but maybe for some people, if you had to have um, employment, you had to help your family pay the bills, obviously that's going to, to fit into that. Um, first generation family member to attend college, primary caregiver's relative, all the way down, Pell Grant, um, foster care system, even coming down here into the residency, are you ever homeless? Do you feel that you grew up in an area that was medically underserved, okay? As you start going through and you objectively answer these questions, it's gonna naturally guide you to say, if you're saying yes to several of these, you should definitely go ahead and write this essay, okay? High school information. Graduate from high school with a low percentage of seniors that actually graduated. Graduate from high school with a low percentage of students that went to college. Um, you go to high school or many students were eligible for free or reduced price lunches, okay? So these questions are gonna help you. And just to kind of zoom out, you might be like, well, I'm not sure. But then if you start answering these questions and you're saying yes, chances are you're going to click also yes to the disadvantaged applicant consideration. And this prompt says, do you wish to be considered as a disadvantaged applicant by any of your designated programs that may consider such factors as a part of their review process? Um, some applicants have a hard time deciding whether or not they are, and they fear that someone's going to judge them or look down on them. This by and large is going to be an asset to your application. If you answer yes to this, because it's going to give people pause to say, Hey, you know what? This person's been through some things or they've had some challenges and we want to give them an opportunity to have greater access to, um, higher education. Right. And so if anything, it'll give you a couple points on your application. Um, so you definitely if you answer yes to some or definitely if you answer most of these questions, yes, you are absolutely going to be writing this essay. Um, so then you would click yes. And then it says, please provide any additional information regarding your background that can help us clarify your status as a disadvantaged student. Forty five hundred characters, just like your PTCAS essay. And now the question is, what do we do? How do we actually write this? Okay, I would literally, when you're brainstorming, I would write down on a document or a piece of paper, economic, environmental, and educational. And I would make a bullet point and itemize out all of the ways that you can objectively identify where you have had a disadvantage in your life. Um, and this, this list, all these check boxes here, is, it's a great place to start. So if, if you say yes to this, Tell me the story, okay? Don't just say, um, I went to high school where nobody graduated and nobody went to college and I was homeless for three months, right? Like explain the situation. How did we get to that point? Um, how did that impact you if you went to a school where there was a low graduation rate and not very many people went to college? Um, because that plays an impact on you, right? You have to really decide that this is what you wanna do and you wanna advance yourself in your education. Um, so when you look at this for the disadvantaged applicant consideration, brainstorm and write down economic, environment, and educational factors, and then itemize out all of those individual areas and write me a story. Tell me, give me a narrative that showcases 
how these things have impacted your life. Ultimately though, all applicants, I do not want you to write this essay as, look at me, let's have a pity party, okay? For many of these people, these challenges, these struggles, these difficulties, they can be transformational. They can be things that will give you grit and resilience and determination, empathy and understanding, and an ability to bounce back from adversity in a way that other people who haven't experienced these things just aren't able to. So ultimately, I think whenever you're writing these um, essays, Yes, please objectively talk about the challenges that you've experienced in your life so people can have a greater understanding of that. But also talk about how many of those experiences have shaped you and have given you assets and attributes and abilities that are going to aid you as a future physical therapist. Maybe it's because you're going to be able to help other people who may be in a similar life situation. <clears throat> Maybe it's going to be because you are someone who's not a quitter and you're determined and you're resilient. How are those experiences, how have they shaped you and molded you into someone who is going to be able to be a great physical therapist. Um, and that's how I would conclude it. So if you're looking at this and you do different paragraphs, you could do a paragraph for economic, a paragraph for environmental, a paragraph for educational, write a conclusion, roughly spend about a thousand characters on each of these areas and a thousand to fifteen hundred characters on your conclusion. And boom, there's forty five hundred characters before you know it. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Please know that if you are having difficulty writing any of these additional supplemental um, PTCAS essays, whether it's the COVID-19 essay, the disadvantaged applicant consideration essay, or um, the essay that asks if your academic performance reflects your academic abilities, you can reach out to us and we offer coaching to help applicants to complete these essays as well. Any and everything that you write in PTCAS, physical therapy application coach, has uh, coaching packages that can help you and assist you with that. So don't hesitate to reach out to us to check our availability. Um, spots do fill up quickly, but you are more than welcome to reach out if you are intrigued by having us help you to write these essays. And most of the time, it's just talking you through your outline, giving you a character count, giving you structure, and then um, providing essay edits that follow up afterwards to just make sure things sound good and you're presenting yourself in your best light. So thank you so much. Hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been helpful for you. And thank you to those who are submitting tip request questions. We have been just flooded these past couple days. Um, so we're going to get through them as quick as we can. Thanks so much. Have an awesome rest of your week and enjoy your 4th of July holiday.